Well, today I'm going to be making some um, clusters or snippets and um, somebody asked how I made them so I thought I'd just show you how I do them today. It's quite good to be able to use up scraps if you have them or um, little bits of card or paper. So starting off, um, I've got some papers that I've just um, printed out from my printer and I've got little scrap pieces um, of fabric as well and I've also used some of these um, cards that I got in Hobbycraft and I just cut those up. Um, you can see them here. I've got turquoise and pink and then I've used these um, scissors that give the rounded serrated edge there and I've got these scissors as well they're not as good I have to say but they were quite cheap in hobby craft okay so what I've done is just cut around the edges as you can see some straight some are cut I just pre-did this because it just takes a while to do and I didn't think you'd want to see all that um, I've also got some lovely Indian cotton fabrics as well from my friend Manisha Varda who has a Facebook group so you can always just leave a message in the comments if you want to um, know more about her group as well. This is beautiful um, Goda satin here you can see the gold threads that are through there. I've actually used uh, the edge like um, crimping scissors and um, it's just helping it to stop fraying a little bit so let's have a look then um got some trims as well here that i've just basically um may or may not use and just cut up as well so we'll see see where we're at um sort of starting with this this is just the paper i'm using and then i've cut out the design from the fabric that's a little corner piece and I thought that might look quite nice there um, it's also quite good a lot of you have said that you find it difficult if you're just starting out with journals to make something that isn't symmetrical or, or very neat I mean that's um, fairly symmetrical but you can just sort of fray the edges a bit more it's just that that lent itself to that shape so I think I'm going to stick with that for this one here and as you can see it's not quite to the edge so that's fine and I'm just going to use my little mini stapler and that's it so that's one little snippet um let's have a look what else do we have here um like this long piece again you can see it it's fraying so I'm just going to fray the um, edges a little bit more and so if we get this piece pop that there and here's a little bit that I will just pop on top so another good way of doing it is if you are worried and you have it all straight is just sort of get it between your thumb and four fingers and skew it slightly around so it's not dead straight so that's that helps a little bit and again, just get the stapler and pop that in. This is a small Bambi stapler. I just um, got that the other day and it has smaller little staples that go in there, which I think look quite cute and neat. So there's another one. Um, now I've also laminated some flowers. So I'm just wondering if I can use that with something. Here's one I've just again used um, the fancy edge scissors for pinking shears that's the word that I was looking for earlier there I have some pinking shears but these um, are just different sort of shapes um, let's have a look here I'm just sort of grabbing pieces that I think might look quite nice together will go together well um, Excuse me, that's my little inking um, tool. That's a little bit big for that. You can always cut them down as well if you want to. Just having a look for some inspiration. I quite like 
that. You can stick that on top. Yeah, that looks quite cute. So I'm only using three pieces here, really, but you can use as many as you like. Another little snippet. Um, what have we got here? like something else behind that I think because that's blue on blue um, that looks quite nice doesn't it so what I'm gonna do is just cut this it's not even too straight so that's fine and yeah I think I'm gonna add that one there so again just get my stapler oh it's run out of staples okay all right let's have a look because um that's another thing with this bambi stapler is you put them in slightly differently so let's get those out see how tiny they are very very tiny it was really good actually i got them off um ebay and i think they arrived either the next day or the day after so it's very quick so rather than sort of top loading you have to take pull this part out and stick them in there like that let that drop down and pop that back in and you're good to go so let's grab that again skew it a little bit there we go, there's another snippet. Um, what are we going to do here? Let's have a look. Like a little piece of blue, I think. Um, just put up my scissors. As I say these these are really good I think I got these off eBay as well but they're sturdier and they cut better these don't tend to cut as well it's a bit hit and miss with those underneath a little bit of interest there I've also got this mirrored trim then I draw some of that on top uh, let's have a look. Also, I recommend these um, cutter bee scissors for fussy cutting and uh, little bits like that. They're great. Let's grab that. Mm, I'm liking, I sort of like the blue underneath, but uh, I think it needs to go there now. I don't know. Maybe I can get those in here, like that. Yep. So there's um, another one. I'm just going to do a fancy bottom to that, I think. That's the great thing about them. You can really just do what you want with them. And it's quite nice as well. If you're not feeling in a totally creative mood where you want to make a whole journal or page or whatever, these are quite nice to fiddle around with and see what you come up with, all your different um, ideas and designs. Here's another piece. I mean, you could use the gold side as well if you wanted to. Um, let's quite do it that way. And... Having a look at these um, flowers here. I'm not sure if I'm wanting to use those. Mm. Something pink in the middle. It's quite nice. Let's cut this down. Let's get that straight, and that's annoying me. That's not very straight. Be 
because although um, I wanted that straighter, I might just stick it like that because it's just quite interesting. That's great. I'm going to do that just on a little design there. I quite like that. It's just something a bit different. And these are great because you can add them to the pages of your journals as well. So, okay, that's just a few that I've done. I'm going to put these all to one side so you can have a look. Because once they're all together, they look really, really good, I think. There we go. So they're fun to do. And you can just pop them on your pages. So there's a few of the snippets there that I've done. So thank you all for watching. And please subscribe as well to my channel and I'll do lots of um, different videos on how I'm doing my um, different uh, things that I like to do. I'm quite new to this as well, so it's sort of learning along with me. So I'll have a go at certain things and they've got two chances. It will either work or it won't. So again, as I say, it's um, nice that you had a look at this video and um, thank you if you subscribe. Bye bye.